Well, I'm not going to answer this question, of course, because uh, you, you know, contacts do a lot, uh, contribute a lot to splitting dialects, but uh, far from everything. And the examples I'm going to give, some of them show that it's not a lot context, but also in the development. Okay. No, so there are various reasons for dialects. Divergence, uh, for example, migrations. And for our Siberian peoples, uh, it's a great reason and one of the main reasons, I guess, um, and uh, I'll focus on things that are somehow connected with contacts, but uh, can't be fully explained through them. I'll just uh, give uh, some examples. Well, and uh, my examples will be from Selkup dialects, from diversions of Selkup dialects, and. Uh, it's not for you, I guess. Everyone knows all about Samoyedic languages here, but just. And uh, here are Northern Selkub, Northern Selkub dialect group, and Northern Selkub dialects. We have Middle Taz dialect, Upper Taz dialect. Turhan, I'll show a little bit later, I'll show the map. And so five dialects. Um, Karasina dialect doesn't ex exist, which was the. Uh, uh, well, described somehow uh, by Castren and uh, the, the data of which were, was given by Cast uh, was brought uh, from Siberia by Castren doesn't exist anymore. And uh, it seems uh, since uh, the middle of the previous century, uh, the uh, those who spoke the dialect, those Selkups who spoke the dialect. Um, well, they uh, shifted to Ket first and then to Russian. And uh, here are dialect groups uh, of uh, the southern Selkups, according to Hilimsky, 1985. Uh, but I'll speak uh, today only, uh, my examples will be from the northern dialect. And here is Evenki, and uh, here, the population is about ten times as uh, big as um, the number of Selkups, uh, but uh, the percentage of the spe of speakers of Selkup speakers are uh, Evenki speakers are lower because six hundred uh, for Selkups. Yeah, uh, about 25%, even more. Uh, well, after slash, it's uh, the evaluation because the census data are a little bit higher than the real data. Well, and, uh, and here are dialect groups. Uh, look, over five, 50 local dialects, uh, maybe more, up to 70, I don't know. And, and nobody knows, uh, and uh, three dialect groups, and uh, the, uh, gro the uh, local dialects are grouped according to the reflex of the, to the pronunciation of the, uh, uh, of the initial and uh, inter, inter uh, vocal, uh, Sibilants, whether they are pronounced as sibilants or uh, as uh, ha, so what are they? I don't remember in uh, English. Uh, okay, so three groups, and here is the map. You know, those Selkup, uh, Selkups are ten. Uh, Uh, make only, build only one tenth of the Evenkees, uh, they uh, cover a large area and uh, the language uh, was spoken uh, over a vast area 
from here to here look now the Adam key cover, cover uh, about 10 times uh, more uh, area about 10 times larger from the time uh, uh, up to the China uh, border and in China there are almost as many um, even case as in Russia and from uh, the um, Irtish tributaries uh, here somewhere up to the Sakhalin so immense uh, territory and uh, um, that's why there are so many uh, Evenki dialects. And uh, here is uh, a picture of the two uh, Selkups. It's the territory of uh, Selkups. Of the Selkups from here, it's the northern part of the Tomsk district and up to here, Sobrechka, Turuhan. And uh, that's, uh, these are northern dialects, all but uh, the Yelogui dialect. It is somewhere here, and uh, we have now the last speaker of this dialect, of the Yelogui dialect. Mm. Uh, she is over 70. And uh, here are southern uh, Selkup uh, dialect groups the map uh, from the so from Selkup, from the book Selkup mythology uh, and um, let's see who are neighbors of these two languages so uh, Selkup's Enets um, the Enets and their language uh, contacted with the Selkup's up to the time when the Selkups conquered their new territory, moving from the Tomsk district to the, uh, to the basin of the Taz River. Uh, now, no more contacts, but uh, the Ennets uh, left some um, trace in Selkups, at least the uh, River Selkup family. Uh, uh, Pauline and from Berlin, Pauline. Yes, uh, so uh, they assimilated some Ennets coming uh, to the Taz in the 17th century. Then forest Ennets, Tundra, Tundra Ennets, Ket, uh, Evenki and Hunt and uh, uh, both Ennets, forest and uh, Tundra, uh, were mostly Selkup's enemies, and uh, they are regarded just like Ennets. There is only one word for these three uh, peoples. And uh, to the contrary, Cat uh, Seven Keys and Hunters uh, were mm, uh, marriage partners for Selkups for a, uh, quite a long time, especially kids. Now, and uh, of course, uh, they contact uh, with Russian, but they started contacting with Russian uh, much later than the southern Selkups, Selk the Selkups uh, of the um, Tomsk region. Intense contact started, uh, I guess, in the 20s. Uh, in the in the by the end of the 19th century, uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, and different uh, local dialects um, had their own history of contacts with Russian too. And here is a map uh, where the contacts of the northern Selkups are shown, and uh, so. Um, Selkups are surrounded from all sides. So, uh, starting from the... Uh, uh -huh. It is seen, yes? This uh -huh, arrow. So, uh, starting from uh, the south uh, east, uh, here is the zone of uh, Selkup um, cat contacts. Then, uh, here is the area of Selkup Hanti contacts, but uh, Hanti um, 
wives were taken uh, also to the Taz from uh, Hunty myself, Autonomousera from Eastern Hunty. And uh, here uh, the Selkup's contact up to now uh, with uh, the forest nenets. Uh, then here with the nenets, tundra nenets. Uh, here again, Tundra Nenets and Evan Keys, and here in Rata also Evan Keys. Here is the place where the Selkups assimilated a group of the, the same Evan Keys, and uh, here uh, the Evan Keys um, win somehow, and some uh, Selkup families were, in, well, some say, um, a Selkup clan was assimilated by the Evan Keys here in the Sovietska Erichka. And here, Yanovstan and Farkova, Selkups contacted also with the cats and assimilated the cats. And here is the place somewhere here, a, a little bit uh, to the north, where Karasina was, and where Karasina Selkups uh, once um, resided. And they were assimilated by the uh, Kureka cats here. We have Kureka, and uh, here we can see a little bit of the Munduisk uh, uh, lake. Okay, those are neighbors. And now cont uh, I'll speak about, um, not only about two first contacts, uh, induced uh, or maybe supported, not induced, but supported, um, about uh, some changes and used or supported uh, in northern Selkup local dialects because as you've just seen uh, different dialects ha had and have different language contexts. So uh, we can constate disappearance of the dual in uh, two local dialects, in the Turukhan dialect and in the um, Yelogui dialect. In the Yelogui dialect it uh, disappeared fully and in the Turukhan dialect some remnants of the dual uh, can be traced. And then uh, I'll show the reduction of the conjugation type system. Now there are lots of lexical borrowings but I will, won't speak about that. So we'll start with the dual and here are the dual markers of uh, Northern Selkup, uh, of the Middle Taz Selkup uh, dialect. Actually, they are similar in all the mm, Northern uh, Selkup dialects. And plus means that these forms exist, and minus that the forms don't exist anymore. And, uh, you know, the disappearance of dual is widespread in the languages of the world. So we can't say, it seems, that it's because of the surroundings uh, of the languages without dual that, surround, that contacted with Selkup dialects. Uh, it happened. It uh, easily could be a Nina <coughs> process, and of course not because of Russian, but Russian came uh, to the north, uh, to the northern uh, Selkup area pretty late. Uh, but uh, the, all the other languages but um, Hunty had no dual. And uh, it could uh, support the disappearance of the forms. And uh, we uh, see it uh, in uh, Selkup texts of uh, Sovrechka, where Selkups, a few Selkups, reside and resided among the, uh, the, uh, the Evenkis, uh, language without dual. And uh, we can see it in Farkova, and in Yelogui, where Selkups contacted uh, with the cats, well, uh, with cat. Well, as for upper ties, uh, there are uh, in the younger generations, and this is a dialect where 
Mm, even uh, the family language transmission is still somehow to some point preserved in some, in a few families is preserved. Uh, so uh, the younger generation uh, speak the language, the dialect. <coughs> and uh, in the younger generation, uh, the disappearance or at least uh, the destruction of dual uh, can be felt. As for the upper tolka, no, as for the middle ties where it is still present, and the upper tolka, where um, the Selkup's contact with the, um, the Hanti and both languages uh, have dual, so uh, the Hanti contact rather supports uh, the dual and Selkup then destroy. Uh, have, helps to destroy it somehow. So uh, now I'll give some examples. Uh, here we have uh, good examples uh, from uh, the Middle Taz dialect with the uh, dual both uh, in... Um, no, um, here only, uh, in uh, nouns and here are uh, examples of Sherkhon uh, or in verbs, and uh, it should be stated that uh, in uh, well the process of the dual disappearance uh, and the Turuhan started about uh, almost no about hundred years ago, at least eighty years ago, because in the texts of. Uh, 1941, uh, one in Varkovitska, uh, recorded by Varkovitska, uh, there are cases of uh, the loss of dual in the verbs, and uh, rather many cases, also in nouns, but less uh, examples with nouns. Uh, it's okay, it's a good uh, example, but now there are two men, you see, uh, dual in uh, the subject and uh, in the predicate. And uh, the second example uh, also shows it. And here is C about which uh, Anna Utmanchiva spoke uh, in the previous uh, presentation, in the previous talk. Uh, so, uh, in Selkub, uh, that's, uh, that marks rather family, mem uh, family members. Uh, and here we have an example um, from uh, Varkavitska, a pretty old example, Shite Makhe, dual paktote, plural. So, uh, you know, the dual in the verb, it, it seems um, a sort of a typological feature because, you know, in uh, uh, Old Russian, uh, the dual disappeared or started to disappear uh, in uh, the verbs earlier than uh, in uh, nouns. I mean, uh, and uh, here, uh, the, uh, the, what we have uh, in uh, Farkova text, sorry, uh, twice T, uh, uh, we have uh, the forms uh, of family members in dual, Timnasi Kyaki, two brothers with C, and a special affix, twi twice, uh, which twi shows twice uh, the dual. And uh, in the form kumoke also, they too, and it means uh, uh, they too, uh, there is tap he, uh, ja, uh, is used uh, like a pronoun of the third person dual. And then in the forms of uh, ourselves, yes, thank you. Only one minute, you didn't show me ten minutes. Okay, ah, you showed, but I didn't see, sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll take a couple of minutes from my questions, but I'll be, uh, I'll run now. Okay. 
rudiments and reduction of the position of the conjugation type. So uh, the opposition in the one, uh, first in the singular, first person, second person, and third person singular disappear, and different uh, dialects choose different forms. Uh, I'll skip uh, the uh, examples. Here in Sovrechka, for the first person and for the second person, the forms of the subjective uh, declension uh, are chosen. And in the upper tars, also the forms of the subjective declension. And in Farkova, the Turuhan uh, dialect, the forms of the objective uh, conjugation type. As, um, and in Yelogui, this is the only mm, uh, the only dialect where mm, uh, the opposition in the first person singular also disappeared, but it remains in the first person singular. So the dialects show absolutely different pictures and. Uh, definitely doesn't depend on their context, linguistic context. Why uh, this or that form from two forms uh, is chosen, it's a question. I'll skip all that. And I'll show a little bit from uh, context-induced or context-supported changes in northern self Yes, once again, sorry. Uh, I'll show uh, Evenki neighbors and their languages. You know much more, and uh, southern uh, Turkic languages are forgotten here, they, so they should be here. And this is the territory of the Evenkis, and uh, most of all, the Evenkis, uh, the Evenki language contacts with the Yakut. And it's everywhere, starting from uh, Evenkia here, up to the Sah uh, not Sakhalin, up to the Far East, up to the Khabarovsky uh, area, uh, Khabarovsky Krai. And uh, I will expect to uh, say something ab uh, about the dis uh, destruction of the category of plausivity which can, uh, is probably induced, this is uh, the fact that is induced by the uh, linguistic surroundings because uh, their position of uh, inclusive and exclusive uh, forms in uh, pronouns, uh, now, um, verbs and possessive affixes of uh, uh, nouns uh, is something that doesn't exist in the contacting uh, languages. And, but at the same time, uh, a new category was developed, and I'll just say that the development of a new opposition within the category of exclusivity, the opposition of uh, uh, close and uh, broad uh, inclusive uh, we two or we three uh, opposed to we many uh, seems to appear in some dialects, not in all dialects, of Evenki under the influence of, uh, of some of Yiddish languages. Uh, well, I'll skip it. And I'll show an example. Uh, Lena uh, Klitschko spoke Mm, yesterday about a uh, special mm, new development of uh, the imperative in some mm, Evenki dialects uh, about special fu uh, new functions of the imperative and then I'll skip this but I'll show you an example oh sorry 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 it's development uh -huh, I'll show you an example of oh no not that it's not that I mentioned here. Uh, you see uh, the uh, imper imperative and it comes from Russian definitely. Uh, nada, uh, do something. 
and uh, Nada comes from Russian, and then uh, here is an Evenki form, Surukal, it's uh, the imperative, the sec uh, second person, singular. But uh, it, now, uh, it is now used not only in this uh, strict um, pattern, it is also used with uh, some uh, verbs as cannot do, I'm, um, I'm unable to do something. And um, in other dialects um, where this uh, development of a new fu function uh, of the imperative uh, didn't take place, uh, there, um, another form is, uh, is uh, used here. But here we have, uh, I cannot, uh, and then imperative, go. That's all. Thank you, and sorry for taking more time. So we still have some time for questions. Are there any? Comments? Uh, wait. The question is exactly about the last slide. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, about this, uh, st st um, uh, this development of uh, the imperative form. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't, I didn't understand well to think that it is under the influence of Russian. Yes, it uh, seems. Uh, don't, you don't you think that this is some kind of a conjunctive, subjunctive mood? Mood. Uh, uh, it, it's, um, well, um, uh, no, because they have another uh, pattern here. They have now in other dialects, in some dialects, they use uh, this form, uh, the imperative. But in other dialects, they use other forms. Um, most often, uh, the form of uh, the uh, converb of. Um, Purpose, purpose, uh, purpose uh, of purpose with da. Yes, they use it, uh, and so they had what to use. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, but uh, it is connected with nada. Um, the, uh, such forms appeared earlier in uh, Vasilievich des uh, described them in the Upper Lena dialect, and she uh, wrote about them just as an influence of Russian. If it were not Nada, then it could be anything, but with Nada, it seems that uh, it's the influence of the Russian. And uh, you know, now they um, two um, um, dictionaries, two small dictionaries were published, two dictionaries of the Upper Lena, uh, Lena dialect. Uh, and they were published by, by the speakers of this dialect, elderly people, one of them uh, worked all her life um, to, uh, teaching the standard form and uh, now turned back to her uh, native dialect and compiled a dictionary, and the other, um, he taught Russian all his life, and when he <laughs> retired, he turned back to his, uh, the, the dialect of uh, his youth, and childhood and youth, and he co compiled uh, also a dictionary. And the enter words in this dictionary are not in the, uh, the, the um, Yes, the words in this dictionary, the lexemes, are uh, represented not by the forms of uh, the um, time, uh, so uh, with me, converbs with me, converbs, but with the forms with curl, really. So we have the entrance with curl. I'm afraid we have no time. Our next speaker is...